If everyone looking at me today is doing so from a seated, upright posture, something I and billions of people do every day. However, this isn't achievable for thousands of people paralyzed by a spinal cord injury. These individuals find it difficult to assume an upright seated posture or lean with their trunk without the use of restrictive straps or pads. My dissertation is focused around improving their seated posture and facilitating these leaning movements through the use of their own paralyzed muscles. These muscles are still capable of providing movement. They just lack the proper commands from the brain. A small electrical current when applied to the nerve can cause these muscles to contract again. Then it's my job to fig figure out how to control these electrically activated muscles by determining when and how strongly to contract them in order to obtain a certain trunk movement. The system I am trying to make is composed of three main components. There is a measure of trunk position, an initial command, and a controller. We can think of it kind of like navigating to the grocery store with your phone. Just as the GPS in your phone needs to know where you currently are in order to know where you need to go, so too must I know where the trunk is in order to tell it where to go. And this is done with a sensor that we place on the chest of the individual. The next step is determining how to get to your destination or the initial command. And in our analogy, this is akin to the GPS telling you your initial directions to get to the store. But just as there are many different ways to get to the store, so too are there many different ways we can perform a certain trunk movement. I have to figure out which way is best. And I do this by characterizing the system by how much force each muscle produces and in which direction. I can then build a model that tells me the best path to take uh, with the least amount of effort. But what if you deviate from this path, make a wrong turn, and then the GPS needs to correct that and to get you back on track? And this is where the controller comes in. If, for example, an individual is leaning too far to the left or gets nudged to the left, then the controller can activate muscles in the right side of the trunk to pull that individual back into the correct position. Integrating all of these components together, we can hopefully enable an individual with spinal cord injury to use their trunk in ways that they really couldn't before. Things as simple as leaning over easily to grab something from the ground or leaning forward to grab something out of the back of your fridge can really make all the difference. Thank you.